This is Anfisa from Retina Coach and today I will talk about fluid air exchange. Fluid air exchange is done by simultaneous injection of air into the vitreous cavity and removal of fluid. There are a few reasons why fluid air exchange is done during the surgery. First of all, air used as an important tool for retinal reattachment and removal of subretinal fluid during retinal detachment surgery. Second is that fluid in the vitreous cavity should be replaced by air during the surgery for further performance of air gas or air oil exchange for stronger tamponade. Third is that air by itself can be used as a short-term tamponade in the end of the case. What you see in this video is the case of retinal detachment repair. At this moment, a surgeon draining the subretinal fluid through the retinal break to flat the retina by using a fluid needle and simultaneously inject the air into the vitreous cavity. There are a few options to drain fluid during fluid air exchange. First one is a passive drainage by fluid needle. In this case, air infusion pressure should be elevated to high levels to allow passive aspiration. Second option is active drainage by fluid needle. In this case, air infusion pressure can be left in the normal ranges because vacuum created by the machine. Third option is a vitrector, but when small amount of the fluid left, there is a high possibility of retinal incarceration. That's where this option is less preferable. Visualization can get difficult during fluid air exchange. Refocus can help to improve it. Also keeping the light pipe into the fluid level during air fluid exchange helps to reduce reflections from the surface of the fluid. In case of patient with zonal analysis or with anterior chamber lens, some air bubbles can float to the anterior chamber and significantly complicate visualization of the retina. Attempt to remove them is usually failed because more will come from the vitreous cavity. Merging of the bubbles or injection of the viscoelastic material into the anterior chamber can help in this case. Be aware of venous air embolism syndrome that can occur during fluid air exchange. Embolism could happen when accidentally air being infused suprachoroidally instead of intravitreally. In this case, air can enter the blood circulation and cause an embolism. Embolism requires immediate recognition. If you see choroidal detachment that appeared after start and fluid air exchange, or there is a sudden drop of oxygen saturation and blood pressure, Stop air infusion immediately and evaluate the patient. To prevent this syndrome, before starting fluid air exchange, reconfirm that infusion cannula didn't slip. This simple precaution can help to prevent rare but fatal complication. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on all our latest videos and also to visit our retinacoach.net website. Thank you for attention.